Hey, what's going on? This is Rook. All right. Um, this is a tutorial on how to set up the Gecko Science mm, new pop. It's currently plugged in right now. So it's plugged into a little USB port that I have. Um, it's also recommended to get like an external port. Well, you could plug it into a port to just have a fan there. I actually have a fan also right by, see? hitting it because um, it does get hot so you're aware um, so let's begin I actually have found this little thing that came with it um, gives you a little step-by-step -step playbook on what to do but I'll pretty much show you on the screen um, how to do everything okay uh, so we will start off with going to the site You first set up a wallet, a Bitcoin wallet first, okay, so you know. Mm, different places you can go for that. Um, I'm not going to get into that. I mean, if you don't have a wallet, I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> but um, the first site to go to is HTTPS uh, semicolon not stake <laughs> uh, slash slash Z A D I G dot A K E O dot I E. Okay, that's where you start off with. Go here and then, uh, pretty sure you have Windows, so you just go here and uh, you get Zedig 2.5. I already have it though, so I'm not gonna be downloading it again. I could download it again. Let me download it again. Fuck it. No. No. So if you go here, open it up, hit yes. After you download it, uh, you go here. And it should pop up on your screen. Uh, it's not pop up on mine because I already have it on there. But um, you just pick a uh, new puck Bitcoin miner. It should pop up immediately after you plug in your um, miner. Um, and then you select uh, Bitcoin miner from the top and win USB version 666. But it's right here, version six. Sorry, um, from the available drivers, and then you just hit install. Um, after that, then your computer will be um, will finally find the actual miner, which is nice. Uh, so I won't do that again. But yeah. After that, you need to go to set up and run CG miner which they're telling you to go to www.419mining, which is cool. Let's go there for a quick. www.419mining.com or Bitcoin Talk. Uh, it's gonna be on the directions for you. Um, 419 Mining. Uh, must be built for Gecko Science. So you're getting the CG Miner. Uh, okay, right here. You get the build here. Uh, I'm not gonna do that once again because I already have it on my computer. So once you get that, uh, you're gonna update it might say that it's a virus, but it's not a virus. It's just a lot of hackers are miners. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, after you do that, you're going to be getting something that looks like this. Uh, let's go up a little bit. You're going to have CG Miner 411. You know, you're going to have to um, extract it. And then when you go on, I have a few of them set up, but I'll set up a brand new one for you to just show you. Uh, so you just 
you can create a brand new one. Let's do this right here. And we will erase everything. Okay, now, this is CG minor. So you do dot, and where are we at? Awkward. Haha. <laughs> CG minor dot exe would be your first one. And then you actually need to find a pool. Let's, um, I do slush pool, but it's telling you here to go to ckpool.org. We can go there. That's where we get our info from, okay? Wait for it to load. So, How's your morning going for you? Ha ha! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not in the brain. Uh, it's slow. The site can't be reached. I like that. Do it again. Nope. Okay. Well, ckpool.org isn't working for some reason. We can try slush pool, which is the one I was in. Slushpool.com. <laughs> All right. Giggity, giggity. So, go to slush pool. I, it says my worker's still on, but it isn't anymore. So, oh, it's still working. That's funny. I turned it off. Anywho. Uh, so you can go to help and all pools are the same it's just you just need to know what the URL is for it um, and you get the server number you go to Bitcoin mining setup Bitcoin mining setup on slush pool You need to sign up for a slush pool account, like just, just join a sign up and then log into your account. After you log in, you're gonna get your info and this is what you need. Um, when you log in to a slush pool, you're gonna get uh, a username. So that'll just be your username, dot, and whatever you wanna call your worker name. Password could be anything you want. You could just leave it blank also. It's pretty, uh, just be an X if you want. Um, but this is a URL that we're gonna be taking Right there, Stratum, TCP, copy and paste. Right here, paste. Oh, that should be a row. Doing this out of order. You put O for the URL. Afterwards, you hit space dash u for username. Username would be um, your display name on slash pull, which mine is do do rook one seven seven three. So I would type in here rook one seven seven three dot and whatever I want to call my miner. So, I gotta actually show you it done already. I don't know why I'm doing that. So, I'm an idiot, sorry. Awkward. Uh, right here, and this is the thing right here. I'm in a Canadian server because I'm an idiot, and uh, I like to say, hey, hey. <laughs> so, mine's Brooklyn 773 at Gecko Science, passwords X, and uh, you can put suggest difficulty 128. Um, Gecko new pack frequency is 300. That's because I'm um, overclocking it. It's supposed to be frequency 100. Um, 
They usually have, say, suggest difficulty 32. Um, I put it for 128 because I'm overclocking, so I'm going a little higher. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't need to do uh, frequency 300. You could just do suggest difficulty 32, and then that'll be good. Um, I overclock, though, because I'm a dick. Just trying to make money, but apparently you can't make money with this thing, so ha ha ha, jokes on you. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a great learning tool. Um, the other things to do for these are going to be um, a lot easier. Um, but this is only one you have to go on Notepad and actually type it out. So dot slash CG manager, CG minor dot exe. Put your uh, O U um, is the URL. U is the username and your username for the website and then um, what you want to call your miner. Password, I just have X, and then difficulty, uh, it's supposed to be 32, I put it for 128 because I'm overclocking, once again, at 300 instead of 100. And um, a lot of times with the username, it'll just be your wallet address for different sites, um, just so you're aware. Um, with slash pool, it doesn't work like that because they put it in there and then they just pay you later. Like you need to put your wallet address into slash pool. So when you reach your payout, you get paid later. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, I will also give you the instructions. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Um, and the thing. So hopefully this helped you out a little bit. Um, I gotta go because I'm probably do some drugs right now before work. Um, but so you know when you see me, I'll be high. All right. There's a joke. All right. <laughs> Giggity. Over and out.